Hello. I'm going to do the reading for Libra for April. And I'm sorry that this is so late. I've just been really busy this month. Had a lot going on. Can't wait until this month is over. And hopefully things will be slowing down next month. All right, so we have Libra for April. Your first card out is Ace of Pentacles. Aces are new beginnings. Pentacles represents finances. So it could be a new beginning in finances. Maybe a new job. Maybe you do something, you do a second job. Maybe maybe you do something on YouTube or you, you do something, I don't know, that you really like. Maybe it's an idea that you had, you wanted to try something new, something on the side, or maybe it's a new career, maybe it's a new job that you want to do, maybe it's a new opportunity that might come your way out of the blue. All right, let's see, what else do we have here? Cards don't seem to want to come out. That was the only one, here we go. Princess of Wands, okay. Princess of Wands is a spark of an idea. The beginning of something new that you want to start. I feel like that relates to the job. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Things are turning. I don't know. I feel like maybe for some of you there's a new job or a new direction you want to go with as far as a job. You have that spark. The wheel is things are changing, things are turning, new things are happening. Maybe this is the month, April is the month things start turning around for you, going in a new direction. Two of Pentacles is balance, balancing different areas of your life. Maybe you will find more balance in April. Balancing different areas of your life. We have the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups, Cups are emotions. So you have an offer coming in, an emotional offer coming in. Could be with someone that you're with currently. Maybe they make it make an offer. I don't know. Maybe they. Maybe you get engaged. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe they make an offer to work things out if things have been a little rough. Maybe they make an offer to go on vacation, go on a trip. Summer's coming up. Maybe they make an offer to help more around the house. I don't know. Those are just some thoughts that came to mind. Let's see, we have the Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords is 
an inventor, freedom of thought, a free thinker, thinks outside the box. I still feel like it has to do with an idea that you have to start a business and that you're thinking out of the box and that you have those first sparks of, of this idea that you have that you want to make this come to fruition. Maybe somebody you know, a business partner or something, they make an offer for this new business or this new venture. Seven of Cups, having lots of choices, having lots of decisions to make about what you want to do. I don't know, I just feel like for whoever it is, I feel like this is just a message for that person that wants to go out on their own and start their own business, possibly their own YouTube channel or whatever it may be that I just feel like this is for you saying that yeah, go ahead, you know, take that chance, see what happens. You'll never know unless you try. The chariot, all right, moving forward with an idea, all right, moving forward, forward progress, things start to pick up. I know that's what I needed in order to start my YouTube channel. I had one of the readers that I was listening to. She had actually just done a, a, a regular video and had answered some questions and stuff. And she just said, you know, take a chance. Go out there. Go ahead and do it. And that was the push that I needed to, to actually make this happen. So... I feel like whoever it may be out there that, you know, maybe this is the push that you needed to give you the strength to move forward with that new job or that new idea or that, you know, that thing that you want to do. That will give you satisfaction and Prince of Pentacles, all right? Prince of Pentacles is slow, steady progress. And something that you're, you've been waiting for comes through, okay? I just really feel that if you want to go out there and do something, Go in a new direction, try something new, do a side job, whatever that is, that you should definitely do it. That you should push forward. Like I said, maybe that offer comes in for a new job, a new position. Really think about that. Like I said before, you never know unless you try. All right. We have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. So I feel like that soul searching to decide, you know, to not be overwhelmed by all the choices that you have and to make the right choice that's good for you. And then we have lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. All right. Charging ahead. Charge ahead with those ideas that you have to try something new. All right, you have the strength. You can do it. All right, I just feel like that's what the cards are saying. A new beginning. Having more balance, finding more balance, you know, finding that thing that you like to do and making money at it. How cool is that? Can't get any better than that. Because then you don't even feel like you're working. You're like, wow, I'm getting paid to have fun and do what I like to do. 
All right, I just did the angel answers and it says don't stop. Okay? Don't stop. Don't stop thinking, don't think process, don't stop process, processing it. Don't give up on your dream. All right? Whatever your dream is, don't give that up. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward forward with it. Doesn't mean you have to do it all in one day or all in one month, but you know, writing things down, researching, finding out ways to make your dreams come true. The wheel is turning and you have a new beginning. All right. I hope that resonated with with you. I liked it. I think it was a good positive message. Stay strong, keep moving forward, and follow your dreams. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.